Hello, friends, and welcome to this class on easy ways to boost your immune system. Um, I'm Holly. If we haven't met, I am the owner of Renewal Fitness Coaching. I'm a holistic nutritionist, a personal trainer, and a doTERRA essential oils consultant. So in this class, you're going to be hearing perspectives from all of those roles, everything from fitness to nutrition to essential oils and natural products that we can use to boost our immune system. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you and we will get started. All right. So what I want you to get out of this class and some of the things that you should learn by the end is I want you to have some idea of what to put in your body, what to put in your environment, and how to move your body to improve your immune strength. I want you to feel comfortable implementing two of these tips, and there will be a lot, so just two, at home within the next month. And then, of course, I want you to know where you can buy and how to use some of the tangible items that we discussed, because I will be talking about a lot of products that I love and use and recommend, so I want you to know where to actually get those. So I want to start with this doTERRA Wellness Lifestyle Pyramid. Um, this shows a great foundation and method of how we take care of our health and our immune system. So the foundation is eating right, quality nutrition. That's the basis for everything. And then exercise and then rest and managing stress, reducing toxic load, and then more proactive informed health care. So we're going to kind of follow this pyramid a little bit through this class and touch on most of these areas. So if we were live, I would love to interact and hear more about what you want to learn. Um, but if you're watching this on your own, you might want to take a second and just think about what is it that you came to this class for and what would you like to know? If you get to the end of the class and feel like maybe I didn't answer some of your questions, then please feel free to leave a comment depending on what platform you're um, watching this on. Or you can shoot me an email at renewalfitcoach at gmail.com to ask more questions. I'm always happy to help. All right, so let's start with that basis, that foundation of eating right and nutrition. So some of the most helpful foods that you can eat are plant foods or plant-based foods. So these foods help to strengthen your immune system and fight off inflammation. They give you vitamins, minerals, fiber, and water that all help to fight off sickness, and they are associated with less sickness and disease. So what are plant-based foods or a plant-based diet? They're pretty much plants. <laughs> um, so they're things like legumes, um, such as beans and peas, things like whole grains. So oats, quinoa, rice pasta, brown rice, whole grain bread, um, fruits and vegetables. Ideally, you want to be eating the rainbow. So you want to incorporate a lot of different colors of fruits and vegetables in your diet. That's reflective of some of the vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that they have. These are all things that help to keep us healthy. Um, so everything from like red apples to yellow be bell peppers to oranges to eggplant to spinach. So get a lot of bright colors in your diet. And then healthy fats, things like avocado, olive oil, olives, nuts, and seeds. So you'll see a lot of these are just natural foods. They come from the earth. Like you could grow them on your own land if you had space for it, right? Um, these aren't things that come in packages typically. Um, they're not um, sold in stores in boxes or usually in the middle of the store. These are pretty natural and haven't really been changed much from their natural state. These are the things that help our body the most and keep our immune system strong. And then nutritional yeast I wrote on here um, as well. This is something that's not like a food group like the other ones, but it's kind of a cool food supplement, if you will, um, that has beta glucans in it, which are something that helps to fight infection and boost immunity. Um, they've become a little bit more popular in these last few years with a certain virus that we're fighting off. So this is nutritional yeast. A lot of vegans tend to incorporate this into their diet because it has a lot of protein, it has B12, and um, it has a little bit of like a cheesy type of flavor. Um, this is full of beta glucans, and so it's really good for supporting your immune system. Very simple to just toss onto foods like meat or into a soup or on some popcorn or incorporate into things like cashew cheese if you like to make your own things like that and dips. So you can kind of add it into things. Sometimes we'll throw it into our protein shakes at home. Very easy supplement to get some extra beta glucans in your diet. 
Okay, so how can you eat more plants? A lot of time we know what to eat, but we're not really sure how to get it in. So here's some ideas for you. You can add them as a side dish. You can replace some of your current meats or dairy foods with plants. And you can replace some of your current processed grains with whole grains and starches. So for example, instead of using meat or chicken, you can use things like tempeh or tofu. Um, so you can make things like Asian rice bowls at home. Um, you can make teriyaki chicken from tempeh. So the picture on the left is like a cooked tempeh that's kind of a teriyaki style. Um, you can use ground up tofu or tempeh and do things like homemade chipotle bowls where maybe you have black beans and you have lettuce and you have um, bell peppers and a lot of those plants that I just mentioned. You can do things like have tacos um, and fill like a corn tortilla rather than a flour tortilla with things like beans and vegetables and nutritional yeast instead of just things like carne asada. And then you can replace white flour with something like cauliflower rice, which is just cauliflower, but it's chopped up to have a similar consistency to rice or something like quinoa, which cooks just like rice, but it's a much healthier grain with a lot more nutrients in it. So if you want, if you're watching this on your own, you can always take a pause and write down some ideas, maybe some things that right away you could implement into your diet. What are some dishes that you could have as a side? What are some ways you could swap out some of your current foods that maybe don't have so many nutrients or aren't plants with some more plant-based foods? Okay, so then I want to move on to supplements. So supplements help us to fill in the gaps of our nutrition. Even if you eat an amazingly wholesome, healthy diet, it's really hard still to get all the nutrients that we need. Um, either we're watching our weight and so we can't get all those calories that we need, or it's just that the food that we now get comes from soil that's depleted of nutrients, or it goes through processing that makes it lose nutrients. So most of us tend to have some deficiencies in our diet. So supplements are something that can just help to supplement our diet um, by filling in the gaps. So the one I use and recommend is from doTERRA, and I will share a lot more about doTERRA through this class and some of the products that help to boost your immunity. Um, but this is called the Lifelong Vitality Supplement. It has vitamins and minerals. It has your omega-3 and 6 fatty acids, and then it has a cellular complex. So you can see this list of all the things that it helps to do, everything from helping with boosting your energy to managing stress and cardiovascular health, but it also really helps with immune function. These also include essential oils that are really beneficial for keeping your cells strong and keeping your immune system strong. A couple other supplements. Again, these all come from doTERRA and I will explain at the end more about doTERRA and how to get this into your home. Um, but a greens powder is one of my favorite things because as I just said, it's very hard sometimes to get in all the nutrients that we need. And I'm someone who's very conscious of eating fruits and vegetables, and I would say I still tend to fall short. For the most part, we should be eating about five to 10 servings of fruits and vegetables a day, and most of us just don't do that. Um, and so a greens powder, like this one that has fruit, vegetable powders, and other like superfood type of plants in it, is really helpful to fill in some of the gaps. So I add this into my morning protein shake, um, it's equivalent to about one to two servings of fruits and vegetables, and it tastes amazing. Um, most greens powders are not that great. Uh, they're just very, they taste kind of like grass. Um, this one is very sweet. It tastes amazing. Um, so I really love and recommend this one to help get a little bit more of those nutrients in. And then On Guard Chewable Tablets. Um, these are actually a brand new product. They're just little chewable tabs um, that include six essential oils, like clove and cinnamon that are really beneficial to your health. They help to fight off bacteria and viruses in our body. And then it also has zinc, vitamin D, vitamin C, and beta-glucans that we talked about with nutritional yeast. And all of these have been shown in more recent research with our current worldwide situation um, to be very beneficial in fighting off certain sickness and in helping to recover from it, as well as just from your normal common colds and flus and things like that. So these are some really important um, vitamins to be getting into your diet. And these are just very low dose. So it just gives you a tiny little bit of a boost to your immune system without overdoing it. And then probiotics. So probiotics 
help to improve your gut bacteria. They basically help to populate the gut um, with good bacteria. And when you have a lot of good bacteria, one, those bacteria actually help to produce some vitamins in our body. And then two, they help us to absorb nutrients better and to create a healthier gut where food is absorbed. Um, so these particular probiotics are actually pre and uh, probiotic, which means they are delivering to your intestines some of the nutrients that bacteria need to feed on to grow and flourish, and then the actual bacteria in a, um, a capsule that actually makes it to your intestines. A lot of probiotics don't do that. They break down as stomach acid. This is designed to actually get to your intestines. Um, and so probiotics are awesome to help absorb nutrients and we have more nutrients, your immune system is going to be stronger. In addition to just feeling better, having better gut health, which typically leads to better mental and emotional health as well. Um, and even just better like stomach, if you have stomach issues or things like that. So those are some really great ones to try. And then a little bit more maybe fringy that not as many people would know about um, are things like medicinal mushrooms. Um, so things, if you've never heard of some of these things like reishi, turkey tail, and cordyceps. So these are not mushrooms you're going to find at your grocery store. Um, this is not the same as like your white button mushrooms or brown mushrooms or anything like that. Um, these are typically grown in very other places of the world besides the U.S. And so you can get extract, um, powders of a lot of these mushrooms that can be very helpful to boosting your immune system along with brain health, energy, endurance, um, many other things. So Sacred 7 is one example of one of these extracts. There are a lot of them. And what I'm going to do, FYI, um, depending on what platform you're watching this on, I have a whole list of all these products, all the links and everywhere you can find them. Because I know you're probably not going to be able to remember a lot of these or don't know where to find them. Um, this one I would get on Amazon. But I'm going to provide a, a list either in the comments or the description of this video with all the links so that you can easily find these products and you don't have to memorize them all right now. Um, and then adaptogens, something like ashwagandha. So ashwagandha is an adaptogenic herb, which basically means that it helps the body to adapt to stress. So if you're really stressed out, it helps your, to balance out your body and some of the hormones and things that happen when you're stressed as well as if you're way under stress and you need a little bit to, to give a boost to your immune system, to strengthen it. Um, so ashwagandha is one of those that's really helpful. And that's important because if we're overly stressed out, then our immune system does not function as well. It impairs our immune system and we're more prone to getting sick. So ashwagandha, um, you can get this in multiple places. I am including a link to a place called Mountain Rose Herbs. And this is where I get a lot of my herbs. Um, my dried herbs that I use in cooking, as well as things like capsules, like ashwagandha, tinctures, things like that. Um, they have things like elderberry and astragalus, which are also very helpful for immune support. Um, so a really high quality company where you can trust the things that are coming from them. A lot of companies you can't. Um, so this is one that I very much trust. So again, you will get the link to this depending on what you're watching. And if you happen to watch this and you're not seeing all the links somewhere, just shoot me an email and I can provide them for you. And then these last two, um, Rise is a coffee with mushrooms in it. And then Mud Water is a coffee alternative that also has mushrooms in it. So mushrooms are kind of like the big thing right now. They're being thrown into a lot of stuff, particularly coffee. So these are just two ways that I love to get mushrooms in. Um, the powders don't taste amazing. So we usually either put mushrooms into our protein shakes in the morning or I have them via coffee or coffee alternative. So just thought I would throw those in so you know that that's how I typically get mine versus actually using a powder. Um, and these, again, I'm providing links for them. Um, and I actually have a discount code for RISE as well. Um, so think for a second about what we just went over. We've got coffees, we've got mushrooms, adaptogens, and some of these supplements from doTERRA. So which of these would you most like trying to add to your routine? What I would suggest you do right now is jot down one, two, or maybe three of these because I just gave you a lot and that can be overwhelming to think, okay, I need to get a coffee and I need my mushroom powder and I need these, you know, four supplements. That's a lot. And a lot of people aren't going to start with that much. So pick out one, two, or three that you feel like 
you know what? That sounds interesting. I would like to incorporate that and it feels doable to me. Jot those down so that when you're done with this, you can go purchase a couple of them and start adding them into your routine. And then when that becomes habit, then you can add in some work. All right, so moving on to exercise, we're moving up that ladder um, of health that we looked at, the wellness pyramid. So exercise is an amazing immune booster. Um, I rarely get sick and I attribute pretty much all of that aside from maybe some good genes to exercise and eating a lot of plants and a healthy diet. So exercise is a great immune booster and it reduces stress. And again, very important to keep stress low. So here's the key with exercise though. Right now, in at least in the US, if not the world, high intensity exercise is the thing. That is what everyone is doing right now, is really high intensity exercise, which is amazing and it can be very good for you. But if you're doing it all the time, it can actually cause a lot of stress on your body and it can hamper your immune system. So the key with exercise to boost immunity is to do moderate exercise. So like 20 to 30, maybe 40 minutes a day, of moderate exercise. You're getting your heart pumping, but it's not jumping up and down and feeling like you're going to puke at the end, okay? Those are the type of exercise you should only really be doing that one, two, three times a week. You don't need to be doing high intensity all the time. It needs to be balanced with moderation. So to boost immunity, you want to get moderate exercise. And a couple of ways that you can try to fit this in, because I know scheduling and trying to think of what to do can be hard. So a couple of tips. One, you can split up your exercise into 10 to 15 minute chunks. You don't necessarily have to set aside 30 minutes at a time or an hour at a time. If you can do 10 in the morning and 10 at night, that works too. Um, one thing you could do is do cardio one day for 30 minutes and the next day do strength training. Both are very important for supporting your body, strength, um, reducing stress and boosting your immune system. So you can alternate days that you do strength training and cardio. Then you can do things like rather than go to dinner or go grab drinks with a friend, choose to go on a walk instead. Just go for a 30 minute walk or an hour walk and do that instead of just sitting at a table. Um, and then just anything you enjoy that gets you moving, burn some calories and probably gets your heart rate up a little bit. So things like hiking, jogging, biking, swimming, tennis, anything that will get you moving that you enjoy. All right. Sleep. I think we all know this is important, especially for immunity. Um, most of us, when we're sick, know that it's important to get rest and sleep. We should be getting at least seven hours a night. And if you can't do that, then try to fit in some power naps. If you can do like a 20 minute nap during the day, that can be really helpful too. The problem is a lot of people don't have a good sleep or can't fall asleep. So I want to give you some tips for actually improving your sleep. So some of these are avoiding late night exercise. So that exercise is great, but not doing something that really gets your heart up too close to bed. Um, avoiding caffeine is really important. Usually about past about noon, you don't really want to be taking any caffeine in. And if you can reduce caffeine completely, that's even better. You'll definitely notice a change in your sleep if you take caffeine out of your diet. Um, and then avoiding things like working late at night and using electronics late at night, whether that's your phone, your laptop, or your TV screen. So put the phone away about an hour before bed. If you can, stop watching TV or get off of your laptop at least an hour before bed. Um, these screens have blue light that basically is kind of telling our body like it's daytime, be awake, keep going, and it keeps us alert. If you can get rid of those things or at least wear blue light blocking glasses, the glasses will help to block some of that light, which helps your brain to register the darkness outside, produce melatonin, help prepare you for sleep. Another thing you can do is diffuse or apply essential oils to your body. So essential oils are really helpful, some of them for helping to calm uh, your brain, calm your nervous system, calm your body, and start to prepare you for sleep. So they will put you in a more restful, calm state and help you to sleep better. So oils like lavender, which is very popular. Most people know that one. There's a blend called Serenity that doTERRA has that's on the screen here called the Restful Blend that is really helpful for um, falling asleep and staying asleep, which comes in both an uh, um, essential oil form and a capsule form. So I actually take the capsule every night and it, it helps me sleep so much better. Um, 
And then the essential oil adaptive is a very calming one that I love to diffuse at night. So I like to diffuse these pretty much from the time that my husband and I sit down for dinner to the time we go to bed. And then when I go to bed, I start the diffuser in the bedroom to keep the oils going and help promote good sleep. Another thing you can do is put the essential oils on your body. Like if you don't have a diffuser or maybe you don't want to smell the oils um, as much or have someone in the house who's sensitive to it. So you can massage these on or you can just simply apply to the bottoms of your feet, your stomach, your chest. Um, what you would normally do is take maybe a drop or two of carrier oil. You can use fractionated coconut oil, olive oil, avocado oil, or even some lotion. Put a little bit in your hand and then drop like one to two, maybe three drops of oil. Rub that together and then you can rub it on your chest, on your back, on your stomach, or on your feet. That helps it to absorb. It creates a little bit of a barrier between your skin to make it safer. And these can really help to improve your sleep. And then some of, if you remember the pyramid, there was one on reducing toxins in the home. And then additionally, keeping our home clean, I think we all know is obviously helpful for taking care of our health because there's bacteria and there's viruses and all these things are floating around and they're on surfaces. So this is kind of a two birds with one stone sort of situation. You can keep your home clean while using non-toxic products to reduce your toxic load. This is important because toxins can take a real toll on our body. And weirdly enough, a lot of our cleaning products are full of very harmful chemicals. Probably most of us have experienced cleaning with some sort of spray or solution that makes us kind of cough or does, makes us feel a little odd, either hurts our head, like gives us a headache or makes us cough or sneeze or something. So while we're cleaning our home, at the same time, we're putting toxins in our body. So it's not really the most effective thing. So non-toxic natural cleaners are the best way to clean your home. And this is awesome because not only are you getting rid of germs, you know, bacteria and viruses, but you're also taking care of your health by not loading in toxins. Plus, if you use essential oils, you are getting the benefit of those oils and all essential oils have health benefits. So not only are they gonna help to clean surfaces and reduce bacteria in the home, but they will actually do other helpful things like boost your immune system internally, um, as well as a lot of them have energizing benefits or um, skin clearing benefits, all these different things. So um, cleaning with essential oils is just an awesome way to boost your immune system and keep your home clean to fight off germs. Um, and the benefit of essential oils too is that they kill the bad bacteria, but they don't kill the good bacteria. Nature kind of knows this stuff, right? But with a lot of our more man-made products and chemicals, they just kill everything. So you're not even keeping any of the good bacteria around that you would want. So there's this brand new line from doTERRA called Abode. And you can see in the picture, there's a whole bunch of stuff, right? So there is an essential oil, but there's also a cleaning spray. There's laundry pods, there's dishwasher pods, there's hand wash, there's dish soap. Everything you need to clean your home is in this Abode line. And it's full of tons of essential oils that have shown to be very beneficial for health. So to show you um, what I mean, here's some examples of some Petri dishes, a little science experiment that was done. So a really good example, if you look at the second row of product, of uh, plates, you'll see on the left-hand side, there's Aspergillus um, brasiliensis, if that's how you pronounce it. Um, on the left-hand side, it says without abode oil, and you see that bacteria has covered the Petri dish. On the right hand side, they've put one drop of essential oil in there, and you can see that very little bacteria has grown. It's kind of right along the edges. There's a little faint hint of that yellow bacteria. The drop in the middle is the oil, and so it has prevented any of that bacteria from growing in that region. So it just shows that these do actually work, um, that natural cleaners can take care of your home and your health. Okay, and then we're moving up again, continuing up that, that pyramid to a more proactive lifestyle of taking care of your health. So kind of similar to Abode, doTERRA essential oils has a line called OnGuard. And OnGuard was what existed before Abode that had some home cleaning products in it, but it's also an essential oil that you can ingest. So in this picture, there's some soft gels and then the essential oil. These can be taken internally, 
whether in water or in a veggie capsule. Um, and these help to boost your immune system from the inside out. Um, so provide a lot of cellular support. They can actually get into cells to help fight off viruses where modern medicine can't do that. They can't get into the cell. Um, and so you can diffuse these oils if you feel like maybe you're getting a little bit sick or it's just cold and flu season and you want to keep your family safe, or if you've already come down with something and you just want to help get over it quicker. So you can diffuse, you can put them on your body, like put them on the bottoms of your feet before bed is my favorite way to do it. You can take internally if you're not feeling well or as a preventative measure. And then we have this thing called the wellness immunity track that kind of compiles a whole bunch of what you need into one little discounted set. So this is only for doTERRA members. If you don't currently have a membership with doTERRA, then this isn't available to you to purchase. But it's the immunity wellness program. This little kit, and you sign up for it and you get three months of deliveries. Each month is different, the products that you get, but they're all geared around boosting your immune system and taking care of you and your family in your home. So like this first month, it has the On Guard oil. It has an oil called Purify. It has wild orange. It has hand soap. It has antibacterial spray. It has the toothpaste. Um, we even have toothpaste, mouthwash, all these things to help. So this is a really cool kit that comes very discounted. You get three months of it and it's just everything you need to help boost your immune system. So it's just a really cool thing that not a lot of people know about that I like to share. All right, to kind of wrap up, <clears throat> hopefully now we've gone through quite a few things, but I hope that you can list three of the ways to boost immunity. So we went through a lot, right? We went through home cleaning, we went through essential oils, we went through sleep and rest, we went through exercise, we talked about some herbs and supplements that you can take, and we talked about eating more plants. So hopefully you can remember three of those. You might want to jot them down just to keep them fresh in your mind. And then I would love if you take a minute to think about what are two of these methods that you could implement at home. Again, over time, you can implement them all, but if you try to do it all at once, you'll probably feel overwhelmed. So think about maybe two that you can start to do at home. And then I want you to know where to buy what we talked about. So again, I will provide the links to everything from mushroom powder on Amazon to doTERRA links for all these On Guard products. Um, and I just want to share a little bit. If you don't currently know about doTERRA or use it, doTERRA is an essential oil company. They also make supplements, as you've seen through some of these slides. So you can purchase it retail. You just go to doTERRA.com, purchase retail. However, this is the most expensive way. It's really not a good way to buy, pro buy products unless you're going to buy one thing and never purchase again. Otherwise, wholesale is the best way to go. It's like a Costco membership. You basically pay for a membership and then you get 25% off the retail prices all year long. So major discounts, definitely the way to purchase. There's no monthly orders required. You can sign up to earn rewards with like subscribe and save type of options. Um, you get your shipping back and points to use towards future purchases. You can get free oils. So really good way to get these into your home. And when you do this, you can also sign up to be able to get things like the immunity wellness program that I talked about. Um, you can also become a wellness advocate, which is what I do. So I teach people about the products because I love them and then I can earn a commission on them. So this is a way you can earn commission, get your products paid for. Um, you get all of the wholesale benefits and you can create um, a business. And then I just wanna share a couple of kits um, because when you um, join wholesale, there's two ways you can do this. You can either purchase a membership for the year and then just buy whatever oils you want, or you can get an enrollment kit. The enrollment kit gives you a free membership Plus they come in these bundles that are further discounted. So they're more than 25% off. So you get a really good deal by purchasing an enrollment kit. So here's one example. It has the lifelong vitality supplements that I talked about. It has oils like frankincense and on guard for immune support, um, lavender that I talked about for sleep. And then it has probiotics that I mentioned, um, as well as a couple other great products like the deep blue that's amazing for sore and achy muscles. 
Another option, you can just go essential oils only. This one comes with a diffuser and then it has 10 of the top oils, including a lot of the ones that we've talked about, like On Guard and Adaptive and Lavender, um, as well as things like Copaiba that help a lot of the other oils to work well and offer more immune support. And then the Cure Collection is a brand new one that came out just recently. It's basically a whole makeover for your medicine cabinet. So this is reducing your toxic load. It's getting rid of a lot of the toxic products that you have and replacing them with better options. So it's got on guard cough drops. It's got um, digestive enzymes. It has the serenity capsules that I mentioned. It has um, a few of the different essential oils that we talked about. So this is a really fun kit. Um, and then, and I'm not going to share them all. There are some other kits, but I don't, I'm not going to spend too much time, but these are just the main ones that are kind of related to what we've talked about. So the simple solutions kit is a great way to enroll. If you maybe want other oils that aren't in some of the kits, or you're not sure, you just kind of want to get started with something small. Um, this has on guard, it has serenity, and then it has lemon. Lemon is also an amazing home cleaner, really great um, for fighting germs, both in your body and externally, like on surfaces helps to detoxify the body. And then this comes with a deep blue rub, which is my absolute favorite product. Um, if you're doing exercise and then you're super sore or achy, or maybe you just, you know, tweaked your back or something. This is an amazing uh, cream. It's more like a lotion that has essential oil in it that is an amazing for reducing pain and helping to relax your muscles and get over that pain faster. So these are just a couple of the ways that you can enroll with doTERRA and start to get some of these immune boosting products into your home. Um, so if you're watching this video and you want to enroll with doTERRA, then as a thank you and an incentive, if you join with a kit, I will give you a free custom roller bottle. So you can let me know what oil you would like and I will give it to you or mail it to you depending on where you're at. Um, if you're currently a member of doTERRA, maybe a customer with me already, and you decide to order the immunity wellness program, that three month program, then I will send you $5 back as a thank you. Um, and then two, if you need more help with the nutrition side of things, um, you need some coaching to help you figure out how to eat more plants, how to get a healthier diet or what you can eat to support your immune system or any other health goals that you have. If you sign up for nutrition coaching, I will give you $10 off of any program. So, just reference this video if you see it and you want to take advantage of one of these specials. This is just for this class and this offer. So just reference the video. Um, you can send me a message on Facebook uh, or you can send me a email at renewalfitcoach at gmail.com. So that's renewalfitcoach at gmail.com. So thank you for checking out this class, um, coming along with me to learn about boosting your immunity. And if you have any follow-up questions, feel free to contact me. Um, and I hope this gives you some great new tools in your toolbox to help take care of you and your family to stay safe and healthy, um, especially in this holiday season, so you can just enjoy your holidays, rest, and feel great. Um, so thanks again for coming and take care.